about the Max Dawn cosplay. When did I last announce that? December? <laughs> the thing is, I have a lot more drive to finish my historical stuff than my cosplay stuff. And I just kept putting it off, and putting it off, and putting it off, and now we're in June. So, uh, I guess I actually need to start this now. I had to decant my basket of vac stuff to bring it to Royal Huntsman, so... Yeah, that, that, was a, that was a real kick in the head for this one. Better late than ever, I suppose. First things first, cutting out the fabric. I didn't use the linen I got for this one only because it was a little too small of a length to be properly used. So I made it out of this lightweight cotton. Putting on my trusty thimble, I began working on felling the front slit of the shirt, then moved to make the bar tack and blanket stitch on the bottom edge, not containing the felling. And, perfectly understanding that this is something I needed to do last, I put Vax's name and Vox Machina's initials on the front, though the VM turned out very frumpy and I picked it out later. <laughs> Excuse the bright white too tight binder, but for this try-on I had to see how it looked with the binder on. I had my doubts on how drop shoulder it was, as well as the overall length, but I decided to trust the process for now. Skipping the instructions to felt the bottom of the shirt, I moved on to top stitching the neck gore in. I tried with the shoulder straps, I really did, but they <laughs> they really just didn't fit at all and I threw them away in a menstruation pain induced rage. Okay, so I was doing some machine embroidery and I decided to put in the fabric for it to be dyed. This is a more bright white, uh, this is more of a bright white embroidery band that I put in with it, and then it kind of looks like that. So I'm gonna bung this in and clean up the washer and see how it all turns out. Uh, part of my very wet hair, or don't, I don't really care. Um, so last night I was very out of it, like super just emotionally drained. So I tried to put the score in, right? Put it on, on the wrong side. <laughs> this is the top of the sleeve and as you can see I stitched all the way to the top of the sleeve instead of the side, uh, which is very discouraging. Um, I'm just having a hard time recently mostly because I am menstruating. I've, I've mentioned this, um, but also I'm like changing from antidepressants to mood stabilizers, so things have been a little bit rocky. So, yeah. And I was very much hoping to get the breaches done as well, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, so this, this video might just be a very short log, which I dislike, but uh, that is what it is. Hello. So I got a lot of sewing done at the park. I did not film at the park, only out of courtesy for my SCA friends, but let me show you what I got done. So I got the gores set into the sleeves. Looks something like that. And then I started to put the sleeve onto uh, the body, which looks something like this expanse of black fabric. As you can see here, I took in a 
substantial amount of fabric on the body only because I find this pattern to be a little bit more broad in the shoulders than I am, but that's just because this is made for a designated male at birth person and I am not designated male at birth. Um, so yeah. A good halfway through this I was wondering why exactly I was doing all this by hand. I assume you are- I assume so are you. Even if you- even if you've been around enough to hear me decry doing any sort of handwork. Well, to be entirely honest, the machine, though faster, seemed to be a high spoon's task for the time. Will I do the entire cosplay by hand? We'll see. Probably not. But still. When putting in the sleeve facings, I shoved my entire knee into the arm side and eased it around. And honestly, I didn't want to do any more finishings that day, so I called it good enough and said it's time for the reveal. If anyone thinks that putting on a corset is hard and restrictive, try putting on a binder. 